Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Sometimes I worry about Jamie Marchie. I do. You know, it's not, you know, I'm not going to lie about it, I do. It's just that some of the things that she says to me, I look at them and I just think, what is wrong with you? It worries me because this type of person has quite a lot of power. Or so she thinks, anyway. But when you look at certain things, and when you look at things that she tweets out as well, you just look at them and you're just like, what? And you're like, what is wrong with you? How the hell? And I really do feel sorry for her sometimes because I would just like to know what she's thinking when she puts out certain tweets. And we're going to have a look at one today that she's put out, and it's... It's thrown a lot of us off, mostly because of the way it's been worded, I think. But, again, it is just typical Jamie Marchie, and I'm going to have a look at it now. So this is coming from my main man, Jeff, again on Twitter. Thank you so much. You are getting all the golden eggs this time, mate. And this is what uh, Jeff's had to say. Shake my head. What trauma? She's such a liar and needs mental help. The only trauma I see her having is when she looks at how she let herself blip up and how over the hill she is while she watches an older Vic keep having more and more success. Oh wait, that's jealousy and envy. And this is the tweet that went out. So someone went to her. When it is proven, they deserve it. Touching your hair does not make someone a no matter how much you wish it were so. As an actual victim, I feel like more and more like people are using something that gave me trauma as a weapon for petty reasons. And <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, wow, okay. And this is what Jamie Marchie went back with. Your trauma does not negate anyone else's trauma. Wow. So, you know, this person has gone and told Marchie that they are a victim of what all these people are supposedly claiming V is, and that's what she has to go back with. That is literally throwing it back in someone's face who is a victim and saying, yeah, whatever, your trauma is nothing compared to mine. It's, it's just like, what is wrong with you? Everything that she says, and it's just like, wow, okay, fair enough. You want to be like that? Be like that. Anyway, the person went back to Jamie with... Then why do you ignore trauma caused by that Toye guy? From all that's been found out about him, he's scum. And she didn't go back to her, she just literally just left her hanging there. Which is obviously she would, because that's the type of person she is. When someone comes back with something like this, with this kind of answer, or what, sorry, this type of question, she's like, yeah, I don't care about them, I'm not going to pay any attention to them. And it just makes you think, like, what is wrong? She is the most insensitive person ever. She wants everyone to, you know, oh, believe victims, believe this, believe that. But when a real victim goes up to her and says this, she's like, yeah, all right, you don't, I don't care about you. Basically, your trauma does not go to everyone else. It's like, holy hell. You know, it's... It just blows me away. Like she is basically saying, yeah, your trauma is ineffective to everyone else. We don't care about you. And it just makes you think, like, right, okay, fair enough. This is the type of person she is. We know what she is. And it's funny because she just, when she think, when you think that these people cannot blow your mind with some of the most stupidest stuff ever put out there, they just keep going above and beyond themselves. Every single day there's something else and every single day it makes you think, oh my god, this person is mentally help. You know, she needs help. She is mentally deranged. You know, it's absolutely crazy when you look at it like this. And I'm just going through the comments and a lot of them are exactly the same. They're like, what is wrong with you? You're know, asking sensitive. That's crazy. You know, it's just like, come on. It's the way she has said this to someone as well. It's like, right, okay. And when you look at other people who have come forward as victims and they are supporting V, everyone on KV, they have literally gone against these people. Who, you know, When they say believe victims, these victims are there and they're saying, no, 
you know, he's not like that, and he'll go, well, you you must want it then. You know, it's like, because that's what that Amanda Wynn Lee did. Remember that when she said that? That was absolutely disgusting. These are the type of people who just want to go out and they just want to cause as much damage as possible, you know? And you've got, <laughs> you've got Chris Yeager as well, you know, the little sniggering little, you know, the little wart of this entire thing. He's just there and he's just going on and he's laughing about it and he's saying, you know, basically a lot of stupid stuff and it just cracks you up when you when you actually listen to it and, you know a lot of his videos and a lot of his live twitter videos as well he seems like he's drunk or he's off his head high he's just they you know some of the things that he comes out with you just think well what's that got to do with this you know you've completely gone off the subject of v and everything else and all the victims or whatever and you've just gone la di da like you know but Everything that Jamie is saying in this one, you've heard, say, you've had Chris Yeager say, you've had Dominique Sky, you've had them all say, and Monica, you know, this person has gone to Jamie, who is a victim, and they've basically just shoved it back in her face and say, yeah, whatever, we don't care about you. That's just the moral of the story to this tweet. And I really can't wait for when this all does go into mediation and see what happens here. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, spread the video far and wide, and I'll see all you lovely people soon.